Hey, what's going on guys? This is Bruno and I'm here with my great friend Milton right there. And today video we want to share with, with you guys our experience towards our placement. So we're going to be covering a couple of questions. The first few questions will be, what was our placement like? The second question will be, was, it, was our placement helpful towards our final year as well as careers wise? We're going to be talking about, it, about that a little bit as well. And finally, we're going to be telling you guys whether or not we recommend you guys to go ahead and do placement or internship like you guys may call it. So if you guys still here, please like the video right now, subscribe and yeah, just grab a cup of tea, coffee, water, whatever you want to drink and enjoy the video. So, okay, we're going to start with the first question. What was our placement like? And Milton's going to be answering this one first. So, Milton, tell us about your um, placement experience. What was it like? So, my placement experience. So, for my placement, I worked as a web developer in a small company. I did mine abroad over in Germany. It was an interesting experience. It was, uh, I would say, mm -hmm. quite unique. <laughs> so, for the most part, I didn't really have much expectation of what was going to happen there. So the first few months, let's say first two months, I was mostly in charge of uh, bug fixing and some improvements to the website, so minor fixes. Um, basically, it involved changing colors, fonts, fixing, things that didn't look right on the website. And then after that, about two weeks later, I got assigned a project so I got assigned a task which was to redevelop the front end of the website so change how the storefront of the website looked um, after that the rest of the few months was basically minor jobs since I didn't really have much else to do there was um, other tasks such as developing a WordPress website which was basically a blog for the company so they could communicate with the customers and so on and um, also in conjunction with that that's a big word to mm -hmm. say that but and uh, I was also in charge of a developing a WordPress website which was a blog for the company so they can communicate ideas with the customers and uh, that was basically it did you did you did you did you get trained? Did you? Um, no, I didn't get trained, for the most part. It was mostly self-taught. So they would help me out with some resources. So they'll point out, okay, this is like a website we can do this. But I wasn't. I didn't have a period of training. It was mostly like, okay, I'm here. Um, here's this tasks. Mm. Let's try and get along with it. Makes sense. Makes so it was mostly like learning on the job. It wasn't. I wasn't given a certain time period of like training so it was basically hitting the ground running that's what it was that sounds good see this is exactly what i mean everyone had different experience um in my case um starts very similar to milton i was like sort of putting like just to fix very small things on the website you know a bit of css stuff really on the front end and and i spent the very good amount of time like on Pluralsight which is this platform where you get to learn new things and my manager at the time he wanted me to learn C Sharp because I didn't, I didn't have a, I didn't know C Sharp at all I was familiar with Java but C Sharp is a whole different thing so I spent a good time really watching a lot of videos just to get the basic understanding and the syntax of C Sharp and from that onwards let's say three months after making a small change a bit of video on Pluralsight to learn new things I was given a project for the first time and that project really changed my life. It was great because it gave me the, the chance to put the skills that I've been watching those videos and make it make make it useful, like use it, all the skills and then it turns out really well. And from that on, onwards, from that point towards, uh, towards the end of my placement, we I got a different project as well and I worked on it again using the skills that I've learned and overall I think it was great, honestly. It was a good experience I mean, the skills that I've learned there I think it can be quite helpful in my future. So yeah, definitely was good, so yeah. All right, the next question is, was placement helpful in terms of final year as well as our career path? So I'm gonna start with this one because we wanted to talk about the previous one. So was it helpful? Yes. For me, it was extremely helpful. 
Everything that I've learned in my placement really transferred towards my final year as well as my career path. I can see that going there towards that, that way at least. Um, so like I said to you guys, I learned the ASP on the call, which is C-sharp. And that is actually what I used for my, to, for my final year project, for example. I took all the skills that I learned from my placement and made it, I made sure that I'm using those skills towards my final year. Otherwise, I'll probably end up just wasting those skills because if you don't practice, you don't get better. So I end up just using the skills I've learned in my placement towards my dissertation. And I can see myself being helpful towards my career path as well. So yes, the short answer is definitely yes. It really helped me. So yeah, um, so let's turn to Milton. What do you think Milton? What's your placement? Do you think that helped you towards your final year as well? Do you see it helping you towards your career path? What's, what's your opinion on that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was definitely an eye opener. I mean, it did help me with my final year since um, my final year, my project was a web based application. And my placement year, I did web development. It was a good correlation there. Um, Career-wise, it was also an eye-opener um, since he actually gave me like a clear view of how web development can work in the industry. And um, I would say, yeah, it helped make my mind up a bit. Okay, that's it guys. Let's move on to the next question. So finally, we want to talk about the last question, which is, would we recommend placement or internship to some of you guys? So yeah, let's find out from Milton first. What do you think? Um, I would say yeah, yeah. Do a placement. I think it'd be beneficial, especially if you're quite if you're not sure what you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, it can so, help you. Yeah, it can help you see like, oh, is this if the career path you're trying to chase is it actually for you? Yeah. Because you won't actually know until you try it. Because um, you might have an idea of what it is, and it won't actually turn out as it is. That makes sense. Yeah, right. it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, but and then um, what else you think? Well, I would say that just be careful because certain placements yeah. are not what they seem. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Because um, uh, yeah, you can you can get hired to do something and then end up doing something else. Ah, yeah. Right? You don't, you don't want to just show up to a place and then oh, it's not quite what you're expecting. So true, true, true. Those expectations have no expectation at all. Yeah, and that's what I can say. Um, yeah, and yeah, I, I think I agree with Milton actually. Um, yes, the short answer is definitely yes. I definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and do placement, the internship, because it really helps you in terms of like, you know, realizing what you actually like, what you want to do. It gets you exposed to some of the stuff to, that you may think, yeah, I like development. And then once you start doing nine to five and you start developing each and every day, you get bored of it. You're like, nah, this is not for me. I honestly don't like it, especially if things are not going the way you want it. It can be exhausting. So, yes. And also back to the point that Milton said, like some companies say, yeah, we take you in, we're going to be teaching you this and that. And then you join the company, they probably end up like just being a bit dodgy and, you know, making you do things that you're not meant, that you shouldn't be doing, like, you know, go and buy them a bunch of coffee each and every day when you should be actually be trained. They say they'll train you, don't, not every company actually do end up doing that. They say they would train you, but again, everyone has different experience, but definitely go for it, definitely go for it. It helps a lot, honestly. We can't, we can't stress this enough. I think placement is it's a way of finding out is this the right path actually towards whatever you want to go, development or design, architecture, you know, front end, back end, you know, that kind of thing. It does it does help you see and the overview of like what it's like to be working as a full time employee and you know nine to five kind of thing. It gives you that perspective that you may you want to see first. And yeah, I think it's great guys. You should definitely go for it. Anything else you want to add to this? Because people may be wondering some other stuff about placement. Anything you want to add? If you do get a placement, try to make the most out of it. That's what I can say. Yeah, make the most out of it, guys. Don't take it easy. Ask for things, ask for questions, and keep on asking if you don't get something. Keep on asking the people that have been working there for years, those, those people that have more experience than you. Ask them questions. Don't be shy. Make friends, you know, and just. Enjoy it really, that's the, that's the thing about it, you have to enjoy it too, yeah? So, 
really this is all we have for you guys and honestly guys one if you want if there's one thing for you guys to take away from this video is to actually go ahead and look for placement it's gonna help you a lot and if you think placement is not for you that's okay listen it's all right but i would i would recommend we would recommend to you guys so yeah but yeah nevertheless i want you guys to go ahead and give this video a like you know subscribe and everything and show my boy some love i'll leave his instagram down in the description so you guys can see him and text him wherever if you have a question like always leave in the comment section we're gonna be answering this one for you lot and really guys just enjoy it what do you think don't forget to network so yeah like milton said don't forget to network because that's important as soon as you join your placement make that connection linkedin yeah but yeah i really hope you guys had a good one and i'll catch you guys on my next one peace